Thanks for tuning in to BZB TV and welcome to a fresh episode of The Hive. Be the coolest person in town and make sure to subscribe. I think I was just rhyming there. Did you just rhyme? Yeah, I think I, I did. I was going to say. <laughs> well, yes, make sure to subscribe. That way you don't miss out on the latest AV news, trends, and products. We've got a great episode ahead as we'll be looking at the Atlona 5 input universal switch with wireless presentation link. The SW510W is part of Atlona's SW series of compact AV switchers. Ideal for a wide range of uses for residential and commercial applications. Now let's make like Christmas y'all and open up our new present from Atlona. In a perfect meeting environment, anyone can bring their devices such as laptops or mobile platforms to connect and present. The last thing you want to be doing is fumbling with cables or devices right when the meeting begins. We've all been there, we've seen it happen, and we all know that it's a total waste of time, time, time. Well, the Atlona SW510W is an excellent solution for conference and meeting spaces where you require wireless connection or if the room is limited to connectors. We'll talk more about the unit, but for now, I'm going to grab this unit, install her to one of our displays. So just give me a few seconds. We've connected the SW510W to our monitor using an HDMI cable. We also have directly wired all of our sources to the unit. Two game consoles connected with HDMI cables as well. We have our MacBook connected with a display port cable and an Android phone using a USB-C cable. Now what's cool about that is it will also charge your device so you don't have to worry about you know, your phone or your device dying during your presentation. The SW series offers reliability, performance, and a host of integration and user convenient features. Now let's go ahead and start switching between our sources using the front panel's input button. Currently we have it on our display port source, which is our MacBook. Now once you're on your MacBook, you can easily share files, videos, or you know, surf the web very responsive. Our next input is an HDMI source. Let's go ahead and switch to our Xbox One. Nice, let's switch over to our second HDMI source, our PS4. Lastly, let's switch over to our Android phone, which is connected to our USB-C port. Now, uh, once you have it Displaying like say you have your phone connected. Uh, it's in portrait mode, so it's not taking up the whole screen uh, Simply, you know, you can you can present like that But if you want to take up the whole monitor say you want to show a video just orient it to landscape mode and it will fill up the screen nicely In addition to the wired AV connections the SW510W interfaces with the presenters iOS Android Mac Chromebook, Windows device over Wi-Fi, allowing screen mirroring without the need of an app. The unit has dual Wi-Fi access points, one for Wi-Fi and the other for Miracast. There are USB ports in the back for the antennas. Boop, 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 boop. These antennas, very tiny, very small. Let's go connect them right now. And now that they are connected, the unit is providing simultaneous Wi-Fi and Miracast connections. Once that's confirmed, anyone can now connect to the unit wirelessly. Now keep in mind that only one device can be casted onto the screen at any given time. Also be sure that on the unit, you wanna switch the input to BYOD. That'll display your wireless device onto your monitor. 
Lastly, you want to select the correct Wi-Fi access point. So for each wireless device, go into your Wi-Fi settings. And on the screen, it'll have a guideline here to help you out. For us, we have to search for SW510A5ED. Once that's selected, you're all set. By connecting to the unit's access point, you are strictly casting content that's already on your devices, so you will not have any internet access. Let's go ahead and test out the wireless capabilities. Let's grab our MacBook, which is already connected to the DisplayPort port. Let's disconnect the wire. First off, you wanna to go to your Wi-Fi settings and search for that access point. Click it. It'll ask you to type in a password. That password is test12345. All right, once you're connected, go up to your system preferences, go down to air display and select the access point. Then boom, now your Mac is connected to the display. Now for another example, Say somebody wants to join the party with their iPhone. All you need is your handy dandy iPhone. All right, go to your Wi-Fi settings. Select the appropriate access point. All right, once you're connected, boom. Now you have your iPhone mirroring onto the main display and now you can share documents from your phone. Now. now earlier I mentioned that connecting to the access point does not give you internet access. However, if you need internet access for your presentation, the unit can provide that. All you have to do is take the landline from the existing internet that you're building, plug it into the LAN port in the back, and now you're connected. Now step two is you will have to have the admin go into the web GUI and change the network settings. We have our laptop here connected with the web GUI homepage up. So let me grab the laptop. So you log in to your web GUI. Come over to the side, administration, down to networking. And on the top, you will see uh, mode Right now it's on the access point. You want to switch that to connect. Once you have that there, you hit save. And it will ask you to reboot the system. You click yes. Once it's rebooted, it'll take a while to reboot, but once it comes back on, then you will have internet access. The SW510W is compatible with all of the latest devices. And industry first, the switcher combines wireless AV support for HDMI, DisplayPort, and USB-C for new and emerging devices, supporting resolutions up to 4K UHD. There were a lot more cool features that we could not fit into this video. For instance, it has a mirrored HD base T output that can be used with an Atlona receiver product link included down below. Now the purpose of this is if you have a second display and especially if it's at a far distance, this will allow you to cast your content onto that display. There you have it folks. That was the SW510W part of Atlona's SW series. It is a multi-format presentation switch with wireless capabilities. Now I want to thank you guys at home for watching. Thank you Atlona for a wonderful product for us to review. We've included the product link down below in the description, so make sure you click on that and read up more about this wonderful product. Remember to show your support, like this video, give us a big thumbs up, and don't forget, if you have not done so, subscribe to BZB TV so you do not miss out on any more fine programming from us here at BZB Express. My name is Joel, signing off. Hope to catch you guys on the next episode of The Hive.